What's up guys, it's Burbike here, and we're back in some Slay the Spire Downfall. Last time we did the slime boss and did not beat Ascension Level 1. However, this time we are going to go back in with the Guardian. I'm excited to get back to this one. I like the concept and the idea of the Guardian. Oh, struggled for a second. Um, so, I'm excited to tr give it another whirl. Uh, let's see, what was our starter relic? There's 10 HP, enter defense mode and get into block. It's not bad. Let's see, transform to card, random column and relic. Transform to cards for was a curse. Could be interesting, help us define the starting run. Early shop could remove the curse. Try to see what the path would be if we did that. Actually, not bad. A few elites, late shop. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. So, of course, we get a regret. I feel like that's what I always get. Do two. And we got shield charger for stasis and piercing hide for defensive mode. It's not really a clear build per se. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and smith the twin slam. A little bit of extra damage here. Doesn't hurt. And then we'll go for this fight. Gets a little bit of louse. Um. Might as well curl up. Stasis here. Uh, place this card into stasis. Might as well do that. Not bad. I don't think we'll be in here three fight, three turns, but. Yep, not even a little bit. Does this upgrade to be one less? It does. It is not as good as I'd like to be because of that. Um, actually, quartz is. Place the card in your hand into stasis. Accelerate's actually kind of nice. I really want the quartz though. It's actually just really good. Hello, shopkeep. We're not going to do a lot of damage to you, but at the same time, I'm not too worried. Hit you. Uh, we'll do this just for no reason. I could have played one more uh, defend, but it's not that bad. Uh, defensive mode here. Quartz to draw another card. Strike. I guess this does give us one, every tick it gives us eight block and energy. It's actually pretty good. Now that I'm like seeing it in effect. Also the uh, thorns here, really good. All right, not the best uh, draws here, but let's see what we get next. All right, volatile, it played itself out. Twin slam, do that. And I think that's all she wrote. Regret for one. Not too powerful to start with, but not too worried about it. Um, I'm thinking time bomb. I think we're gonna go kind of stasisy. I'm feeling the stasis here. First, regret. Get out of here. Okay. Uh, I don't think there's anything here we would have wanted anyway. Yep. Nothing on sale. Sharp, sharp and fragment. We've never got wing statue. Wing statue bows. You notice an intricate large blue statue resembling a wing. You notice glittering coins spilling from the cracks, but they have no value to you. The statue itself, however. Let's get the sharp and fragment. Add a crystal shift. A little bit more damage at the start of each turn is kind of nice. Okay. Uh, you find loot. Ooh, we got the sentinels. That's fine, though. Okay, so I think quartz. Yeah, okay. Shield charger, pretty nice. Curl up here, should have done that earlier. But that's fine. A little bit of damage here is okay. <laughs> Didn't really want it, but okay. Uh, time bomb, very nice. Uh, piercing hide, actually pretty good. And then do I want to play another attack or go ahead and defend? Um, we'll take a little bit, but I think I'd rather go ahead and put in another attack. Just all enemies. All enemies. Okay. So I'm actually going to start dividing up some of this damage. Ooh, that's a gross hand. Um, to try to get them all within range of time bomb. Because I don't need to hit this one if he dies next turn. Yeah. Okay. Curl up. Crystal Shiv, you're within 22. Boom, boom. And I think you're all dead. Right? Oh, it's at the beginning of my turn. Yep. 
Okay, not too bad. I gotta remember when that that ticks over. Um, put this card into stasis. Um, uh, increases the damage dealt by beam cards. I don't think we're doing a beam build. I think we'll do charge core. Proceed. And we got bronze scales, which is actually pretty pretty slick. Uh, fight, use all three heads. I've never seen this one. I kind of like it. Uh, as you come in, uh, come to a dead end and begin to turn around, walls slam down from the ceilings, trapping you. Three faces mesmerizing from the walls to speak. Forget what you know and I'll let you go. I will require a uh, change to see a new space. If you want to pass me, then you must grow. I'm going to fight all three. Use all three heads. I don't know if I've ever done this, so I, I was pretty interested. Okay, 10 damage coming in. Um, let's draw the card. Twin slams, pretty sweet. I don't know if it matters what order we, we uh, kill these in. We're going to block some here, and we're going to continue hitting the top head. Uh, Transformer drawn card. Okay. Time bomb, I definitely want. Um, curl up actually should have been, I should have done that earlier. Um, uh, choose a card to exhaust. All right, enter defensive mode. Uh, uh, we'll do shield charger because I don't think it's, uh, currently that helpful. All right. Ooh, interesting. Start here, add an orb slam. That's kind of nice. Crystal shiv the top for four. Actually, let's curl up first. Go ahead and do that. Continue to hit the top one. Uh, piercing hides again. Actually, we got plenty of health now. Oh, we're exhausting more cards. I think the bottom one's the one that's doing all the bad effects. Plus one strength. We didn't kill him though. Oh, they don't die at one? That's weird. Okay. Hmm. Not the best. Harden here. I'm gonna hit the bottom one some. Uh, curl up. Continue to gain plenty of block here. Armor protocol, I guess. Like, are, are we gonna exhaust through our whole deck? Is that the the effects that's going on here? Okay, they're all pretty low. Can I get them all to one? I should have curled up first, actually. That's my bad. Okay. Now, okay. Uh, exhaust shield charger. Is it giving me back a card every time I do this too? Is what I want to know. Okay, orb slam. Okay, so it is when they're all at one. 100 souls for that. All right, we can remove a card from our deck, which I think will be a basic, yeah, basic strike side. We can upgrade a card in our deck. Time bomb, I think is the choice for that one. Transform a card. Uh, let's go with a defend. And then add a card. Uh, I think Bobble Beam is kind of nice. It's just a pretty good card. And what was the card we transformed? Uh, gain two stasis slots. Actually, I'm fine with all that. That's all actually pretty nice. A shuriken. Every three attacks, uh, gain one strength. Really good, especially with the sharpened fragment. Go ahead and enhance a card. We're going to put the quartz and the Bobble Beam. But let's draw two cards. Then I want to upgrade that to do it three times. So, now I just gotta add some more cool gems to it. All right, time bomb, very good here. I think I'm just going to pass. Let that start ticking down. Mm, do that. Ooh, this is a pretty good turn to go ahead and start up. Let's go ahead and hit him. Go ahead and get that one plus one strength. Time bomb goes off in one turn. Which is not bad. Crystal shivs here. Um, piercing high. Twin slam for some damage. Um, I'm just gonna defend. No reason to take more. Yeah, that was 30. That was a big bunch of like a a good part of his uh damage there. Um Can I kill him? No, this will just draw me a bunch of cards. Ah, place this. This is gonna tick, but at the beginning of my turn, I think I'd actually rather play out this. Yeah, we're taking pretty good hits. It's like a 
pretty good chunk of change we got in here. Meal ticket when we're right in our shops. Heal 15 HP. Pretty good. Oh, more beam cards. My time is cursed by two. This car can be upgraded any number of times. Man. Protect beam is just really good. Especially when we're hitting multiple times. I don't think I can not take it. Alright, we're gonna go for the risky one and go for this other elite. Uh, Shiv, curl up. Oh, Should've done that first. Shield charger to kill you. Uh, defend, and then we will do a twin slam. Because we are getting multiple strength. Alright, uh, bottle beam. Yeah, you're dead. Um, another piercing high is pretty nice. I like it. Good value there. Uh, Whetstone upgrade to attack. Core charge and basic strike. Not the best hits, but I'm okay with it. Time bomb, definitely the, the, the correct call here. Do the same thing we did like last time, and we're going to uh, try to use the time bomb to kill off all these elites. Okay, do we have... Mm, okay, piercing hide to start to get into defensive mode. Shiv you. Um... Go ahead and get another stasis slots here. And put that card up in it. Okay. Curl up. Crystal shiv here. What is this? 30 damage. They're actually all within a good range. Make sure we defend here. I think we've done it. So this should kick off. There's 30 damage all of them. We had good hits on our elites. Um, I think we should start picking up these. Another ball boom is good though. Take that. <laughs> uh, stored injury. I need to remove that card eventually. All right, 30, 30 health here was really nice. Um, it's a weird one. I like that. Might as well go, I wanna go ahead and get all the powers out of the opening hand, I guess. Or all the other cards. Um, curl up's really good here. So I think we just go for damage here. Does not get us up as far as we want. The thorns here though work into good magic. We did not draw a, an efficiently like a powerful hand. Okay, curl up. Was it too bad after all? And a final hand is actually pretty offensively capable. We've got him down. Oh, I should could have played the shift for another like three damage. Not bad though. Uh, emerald, I guess. We just kind of just need more gems. So I'm not too upset about it. Game one temporary thorns. Actually, I kind of like that too. It's 46. Or we could get Vajra is pretty great. Yeah, I'm kind of okay with these two. Because another strength adds up to our attacks that are hitting multiple times. Oh, this is kind of gross. Um, I don't really want to draw through the deck, I don't think. Because I'll draw three cards. But it's, it's more damage than not doing it. Yeah. Okay. Temporary decks. Temporary Thorns. Shave. I'll curl up Shiv in the first card I played. Because of that, I will not get enough block and I'll take two more damage here. Okay, um, can I kill you? I can. Um, another Time Bomb would be great. Ironclad. Starting straight with nine damage. Gotta make sure I organize these correctly. Not the best. Not the best. I could draw, go ahead and draw, which would get me three cards. Maybe I could, and we have an extra energy because of lanterns. I think I'll try that. I was hoping to get into defensive mode and I did not manage that. So let's gain the decks. We're gonna defend here and then let's start laying in some, go ahead and get the power up. Crystal shield. Not the most impressive turn. Okay, 20 more damage coming in. Curl up, crystal shiv, piercing hide. Man, I, I really need to play these time bombs. 
But we're still taking a chunk of damage. Uh, another 18. And of course, we have no block. So we're going to take another 4. Yep. Not a lot I can do about it, though. Alright. Oh, we didn't take any. Because we were in defensive mode. That's right. Okay, make sure we order this correctly. He's not hitting us, so we really want to lay until he's down to 74. Alright, that bomb went off. 20 damage coming in. Can I get into... Yes, piercing high first. Crystal shift. Basic strike. That's it. That wasn't enough. Nope. That's all she wrote. And we were a good match up there too. Oh, we did our go to the card and Lux, and then we'll go for another one since it's only been 15. Um, turret beam, place this card in stasis, take deal 10 damage to a random enemy. I like that a lot. It's 30 damage over the course of three turns. Orb walk, two strength, tick, gain one strength. Also very nice. And then force bash, 18 damage, put this card into uh, stasis, put this card into stasis, tick, increase this card's damage by three. So that one would be pretty much tick up every turn. All right, very interesting. Let's go back into here. Now I kind of got away from the intent we were trying to go for. Kind of started adding all the beams and not, but not being able to like fill them up with gems and it's a little much. A uh, hundred souls, like right off the bat, kind of sounds snazzy. I with the. Uh, also, the second elite probably didn't help. Three question marks to into two elites, then a shop, then another elite. Uh, a couple campfires. It's either that or go this way and then down this way, maybe. So yeah, I'm I'm, I'm okay with that. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, we'll try it. This is the speed round anyway. Hundred souls. Grab them. Go ahead and smith. I still think defensive mode, I mean twin slime is the best hit to start with for upgrading. All right. Get you out of here first. Try to be a little bit more aggressive. Curl up, didn't need to play that, but we did anyway. Okay. That weakness kind of sucks here. And, I th yeah, we got him. Okay, another shield charger. I think it was a little cumbersome last time. I think put the two top, place the top two cards in the stasis is kind of nice. Two sockets, I kind of like that one. Add advantage, added advantage. Move a card, gain a gem. Uh, Grimforge. Through secret passages known only to the construct of the spire, you're going to change design for maintenance or repairs on automation models. The tools available here uh, will be of certain use to you even they, even if they were not intended for guardians. With a gym install required. Open socket. Okay, so we'll remove a card, gain a gym. I think we'll move a basic strike to start with, and we gained a Tortoring. Tor tortoring? And let's go ahead and put this into our... This is one temporary thorns? Oh, twin sounds fine. It's not the best one, but it's fine. Obtain towel. Always good. Extra choices. Helps you define your run a little better. Oh, here's that early shop we were talking about. Alright, curl up. That one kind of sucks, but we'll have it next turn, so... I guess that's fine. The problem is, yeah. The defensive mode planning. We'll put two more up there. I'm okay with both of those. Play these out. We're not like front heavy, heavy with a lot of damage currently. Like seriously, twin slam is our, about our best damage card we have. So the thorns really help here, but at the same time. They're not incredibly, but I mean, we managed to deal a little bit. There are two more up there. But I think we are more prepared for longer term fights. 
Um, incinerate's pretty good, I think. Yeah. Just to accelerate, because I, yeah. I have to write most card stasis by one. Yeah. I think that'll help with what we're kind of doing here. Do we have a card we need to remove? No. I like Juzu Bracelet a lot. Orb Walk's kind of nice, though. Place a card from your disco pile in stasis. Kind of nice, also. But I think I'll go with Juzu. And then maybe another... Uh, another... Yeah. That. that way we can advance the cards a little faster. Doesn't help if you don't have any in there. But it is just more damage than basic strikes anyway, so... Kind of okay with it. Uh, we'll do... Skills here are gonna hurt. Oh, Twin Slam. Why did you gotta do that to me? Okay. Ouch. Man, that kind of sucks. I guess we should block for five. Oh, 25 here hurts a lot. But, oh my gosh, again with the 30 next? I can't kill you, though. Am I really going to take 30 to the face? I think so. Martin defensive, I'm actually going to be 14. I could block more, and I can definitely kill him next turn, so. Take a little less, actually. He's about to say, he's at three. If I can't get one attack here, it's not meant to be. All right. Uh, war paint and, or 10 foot pole. We'll decide in a second. Ruby fragment gem. Gem, add a crystal shiv. Or a temporary strength. I think the crystal shivs are kind of nice. Outside combat or upgrade two ram skills. What can we hit? This one. Most of the things you have are attacks, and the gym doesn't upgrade, so. I think I'll take 10 foot pole. 10 foot pole. I think it'll be pretty fun. Metronome or sundial or the key. Uh, I think metronome. More attacks, always nice. Especially since we have the crystal shift too. Once we add it to something, will be kind of nice. Curl up, and we're just gonna hit you. Pretty good. Alright. Um, let's see. Let's do this. Then we're gonna hit you twice. Probably should play incinerate first, but it's fine. We got it out anyway. Do this, and then we will hit the next one. Hitting, taking nine again, but carrying the bottle now. Kind of nice. And we don't have to worry about it this turn. Let's go ahead and do that, even though it's gonna, not gonna matter. I wish the more cards you played in defensive also up your thorns. Be kind of nice. Okay. And this turn we're kind of not as good of a place. Okay, I think we can get this left one. Well, actually, maybe not. Actually, we definitely can get this one. But I'd rather play defensive mode for it. Well, no, it's not going to matter. We're killing you. And then we're going to do this and shiv you. Oh, barely shit, barely killing him. I was pretty sure we had that. Planning. Uh, incinerate. Another nine here. Kind of sucks. Not gonna lie. Okay. Twin slam. Incinerate. Strike. Defend. Defend. Four damage. Let's see how bad our, how bad our luck is. Oh, eight damage, actually. Our luck is just that bad. Can barely break past, but they'll take three, so they'll be down to one. And one strike does it. Okay, emerald key here. Um, orb slam. Orb slam is damage, which is kind of nice. That I feel like we're lacking. Come zero, I think we'll take it. First attack. Uh, old nail is good, but we gotta make it that far. I'll take the Akabeko, honestly, like right now. And I'm thinking we might go to another shop and hit this elite to get another rest. Because the shop will, he no, the shop will not heal us actually. Uh, curl up, planning, twin slam, floating orb, defend. I actually need to rethink that. Hmm, orb slams four damage. Center right kills you. Um, ancient attack. One strength and one artifact. Remember attack card to your hand. 
Plus one less this combat. Amethyst, I think I like it more. What do we do? Well, no, actually, let's go this way. Earlier rest. Yeah, yeah, I like that much better. Uh, update body text guy. Upgrade a card. Upgrade. Hmm. Incinerate, maybe? Let's upgrade Floating Orb so we can always play it. I'm actually going to, well, enhance first. Amethyst in the the ship in this one so we can gain that ability. Free action again. Put this one in the incinerate. Crystal shiv. And then I'm going to rest. Anything else I would like to do? No. Just in case. 100 more souls here. Pretty nice. I guess I could have took that and went down to here, but I'd rather have this one. And we can get the... Uh, it's 24 damage, though. But this, I'm going to take it. This is We're going risky. Sharp, sharp and fragment. It's going to be really good with the metronome, that's what I'm thinking. Because we can do Crystal Shift, Twin Slams, Incinerate, Strike. Now up to 6 Strength on the starting turn. And we have 2 Fairy in the bottles. Walker Claw is really good. But so is Orb Walk. Whenever this card is counter-introduced. I think we need Orb Walk, though. It takes off Volatile? Yeah. Because we need some, like, like scaling. Okay. Um, planning, I guess. Incinerate. Go ahead and get this one. Floating orbs. Hit them. 18. We're doing 14. And the next one will be 15. No, we will not have enough. He's doing 11, which sucks. We have to lose a bunch of our strength. Ow. Okay. Um, Crystal Shiv, Incinerate does 6 here, Twin Slam does 10, not to kill you, this does 6 here, you're dealing 8, Defend Defend does it, but I could do Curl Up, Defend, take 1, is there any reason now? Okay, and then we can Crystal Shiv, Strike, yeah. Right, because this is 10 damage now for zero. Orb slams are really good. I think I'll take another amethyst. I kind of like the the uh, strength reduction. Okay. Okay, they're doing three definitely. I think. Orb walk. Let's get this baby up here. Shiv him, hit him, and then negative two strength. We are gonna take three right here unless I pull something cool. This card from your disco pile in the stasis. What do we have in here? Strike and an amethyst. Enter defensive mode. Does it help us? Extra into a card and stasis returns to your hand. Oh, that's not great. Also, what happened to my orb walk? Do we not already play that? I thought. Is exhausted, I guess. I could have swore we did. Curl up, crystal shiv, um, planning, incinerate, block, block. Okay. Floating orbs, crystal shiv, wind slam. We definitely should play defensive cards. We'll do this to get the most damage. Another crystal shift. Defend, defend. Ten defense. Ow. Man, you're hard to hurt. Okay. I think. Crystal shift first. Um, I can make you deal two less damage, but I should do all my attacks first. I have two defend I'm definitely going to play. So we should do incinerate first. Get the 12 damage here, and then we just start playing out the blocks and the negative damages. Alright, we used one fairy in the bottle. We're back up to 24. Expected. <laughs> Go ahead and play all these out. Planning. Crystal Shiv, and then Orb Slam. 18. Oh, yeah, we're not defended enough. 
Should wait till they play those out first. Man, you're rough. Um, Crystal Shiv. I'm not going to play this one defense, I don't think. Yeah, well, maybe I should. I should first. And then that's, that's all we had, so. Strike. Twin Slam. Orb Slam. We're going to be close. I think we're... Nine, okay. I'm hoping not to have to use that second fairy in the bottom. I think we can just kill him now. Yes. Sweet. Very nice. Hundred and four souls. To pour all, accelerate all cards and stasis twice. That's kinda cool. Onyx is pretty good when artifacting. Turret Beam actually fits this build though. Uh, that's 10 damage every time it ticks. Also, do we not have an orb walk in here? Stay. Huh. Reduce wall and stasis. Uh, reduce the cost of stasis by one. Turn your hand until played. Yeah, I don't know what happened because I don't feel like we got any strength from that. Uh, no longer Smith. Eh, I think I'll just take the Terracotta. Let's get that more extension levels. And we'll try. Yeah, we heal less because of that, I think, though. Yeah, heal less after boss. Bosses are deadly early to deadlier, and normal enemies are deadlier. Okay. Uh, let's see. We have a shop right here. We have 300. Pre be pretty nice. Um, elite here or here, question marks. And elite. Ooh, that's a nice pass. Bunch of question marks. We can get an elite. It's not too bad. Early shop is pretty nice. So I'll take that. Enhance an ore. Amethyst and incinerate. Sure. Uh, well, we'll go ahead. Break the emerald. Go ahead and get that one point of dex. And then we'll smith. I think or walk. Just so I can continuously play it to continue getting the extra strength. We're starting with four for metronome. Okay. All right. Let's do that. Twin slam will knock you out of the ground, out of the sky. Yep. Um, okay, you're doing no damage, so let's just kill one of you, and then we'll hit the next one twice. Pretty swell. And they take a ton of damage from thorns. Okay. Um, planning first. Accelerate. Give me this back. Do a shiv. Uh, one more shiv. You're down. Um, and yeah, we'll defend. But I think he will hurt himself even more now. Yep. And I will... I don't think I can actually kill you, which is unfortunate. But we're not going to take anything. I just need damage. And boom. Alright. Garnet. Vulnerability to all enemies is pretty nice. Uh, yeah. Let's do that. Try not to make the deck too much more bigger. Too much bigger. Warblog. I want to see this. Okay. So we gain two strength. And it's just gone. Weird. I thought it... I think it's if you. I think we had to manually put it in stasis. Is the thing I'm thinking. Okay. I think I get it now. That's what I think. Why I was so confused. Okay. I'm understanding now. So pretty much, you need a card to continuously put it into stasis. All right, you're kind of dead. Uh, I really don't want to overkill you this much. Cause I want to hit this one like this. Fifteen here. Shiv kills that one. I mean, I think we'll take the four, if we're being honest. Keep 10 stri- Oh, yeah, we took damage, so we don't keep it. Uh, vulnerability. Shiv. Okay. I cannot kill you, I don't think, so. Double defend. Oh, and turret beam. So that goes up there. So, it should be 10 damage, yep. And then floating orbs. Twin slam kills you, though. Another floating orbs I think would be really nice. 
All right, people. Uh, curl up. Crystal shiv. Uh, yeah, we'll just hit you twice. Hit you with that. We'll just hit you with all of them. And block. Okay. Floating orbs. Garnet. Orb walk. Shiv. Defend. Take a little bit here. Ouch. Put us into defensive mode. Do not need to block this one, which that doesn't matter. Do this. Planning. Floating orbs. Actually, I should have done that in a different order, but it's fine. The Centurion is dead. Okay, another floating orb. So they do stack. Uh, curl up. And then we'll start playing. We're going to get two, four, six, eight, unless we kill them. We actually might just kill them. Oh, we definitely did. Walker Claws, affected by strength twice. Actually, pretty nice. Shop here. We have to fight the shopkeep. Man, had another little bit of a freeze there. Floating orbs. Crystal shift. Strike and strike. Keep our strength till the next round. Okay. And it's if you play non-attacks. Okay, so we want to play all of our attacks out first. Ooh, this is going to be nice. Um, and then I'm not... Actually, yeah, we'll play the one defend. So he takes a little bit of damage from thorns. Okay, now we just really want to hit them good. Um, play this, incinerate, strike, uh, crystal shiv, crystal shiv, orb slam. I'm not even going to play the planning to keep the strength till this turn. So we can try to max that out. Incinerate. Crystal Shiv. Orb Slam. And he is out this turn. So let's keep 9 strength. Going into the next fights. Another Fragment Gem. Or more Stasis slots. I, th I think we're doing good okay on the, the Stasis slots. Alright. Uh, Onyx, maybe? How many gems do we have currently? We have two that we're going to put in stuff. But we got one for the Walker Claw. One for planning. I think Onyx would be good to keep some more temporary, like the temporary, uh, temporary thorns we're getting. Go here, and then we're going this way. And we might, we might fight two elites, we might not. Let's go ahead and enhance. Onyx, I want in the planning, I think. And we'll put the fragmented gems in the walker claw. Then we will smith. Turret beam, I guess. 14 damage. Mm, this is to all enemies. To a random enemy. Strength of excess one three times actually matters a lot more. Might help close out some fights. Ooh. Uh, or Calcum, I think. Doing the chance to not have to play defend is actually very good. Lose 10 football, gain a red card. Lose Akabeko, gain 150 souls. Yeah, we'll do that. Akabeko wasn't helping us that much, and another shop next floor could be very impactful. Okay, curl up, floating orb, garnet, turret beam, defend, crystal shift. Not too much, but we don't take any damage, so it should be fine. All right. And then we want to do, make sure we order this right. Orb slam. Incinerate. This one's going to be 28 damage. We can just go ahead and kill off this one. And then still play defend. Should play the defend and then the other one, but. It's hard to organize metronome. All right, 12 damage coming in. We have. So let's go ahead and play out anything we want to play first. Planning, floating orb. And then we want to do strike, strike, crystal shiv, orb slam. Six more here. All right, oh, two orb slams a turn now. Well, we really need to, yeah, kill him. <laughs> I do not want to take that much damage. Liquid bronze, pretty nice. Oh, ooh, accelerate three times. 
and it can become zero. I think so. Oh, hello, slavers or taskmasters. You guys are not very fun. Um, orb walk, holding orbs. All right, um, we'll hit net dude first. All right, it's gonna take a little damage here. Ow. Okay. Oh, this is not a great hand. We're, we're pretty defensive this hand, but at the same time, we're at 28. So there's 20, they're doing 29. I think I'll take the one. Well, we're gonna play more cards too, so that's fine. 22, get him out of here. Crystal shift, crystal shift. Okay. I think we're good from this point, pretty much. Okay, maybe not. All right. Really need to, okay, 15, you're dead. Actually, I think we can kill, maybe. Yeah, we definitely can. Wing Boots or Potato, during your turn, you're immune to damage. I think Wing Boots is going to be more useful, honestly. And I don't need the Sharpness one. I actually like what we have. Draw two cards if you have cards in stasis. Eh. Eh. Vulnerability is almost the, like an okay choice, but I think I'm good. Okay, I like the path we were on. Another shopkeeper. I'm kind of okay with this. Um, floating orbs, crystal shiv, incinerate, strike, strike. I gotta remember I also get six block from Orc Alchem. Could I kill you if I really went for it? That's the question. Twin slam. Crystal shift. Strike. Orb slam. Actually, we should play Walker. And then this one is not enough. It's 20. Got you down to 10. Oh, didn't matter. <laughs> because of Ori Calcum saving the day. All right, there's a bunch of souls for us. 702 now. Actually, very nice. Another planning? Eh. Actually, this isn't bad. Gain energy if you have a card in stasis. But I'm kind of liking what we're doing right now. Let's just skip it. I'm okay with that. Okay. Well, I'm getting two dexterity while in defensive. Nah. Instead of entering the next two floors away. You may skip rooms instead of entering a room. Huh. Um. This is a weird one. Vajra, I think, is the only one I'm really interested in here. Maybe another Onyx, just to have. Uh, two, 16 to all enemies. Actually, we'll take a Guardian Whirl here. Yeah. All right, let's continue the way we're going. Uh, Ganon Souls. And I think what I'm going to do, I could go back and then forth. Just to go ahead and rest first. Let's do that. Rest. Gain a bunch of that. Proceed. And then let's go to the elite. Make sure we do... Okay. Planning first. Floating orbs. Crystal shift. Can I kill you with one? No. Can I kill you with this one? 16. This would be 18. Oh, we want short these. We have to commit both of them. Okay. Yeah, he's going to be a problem. Curl up, garnet, floating orbs, turret beam. We're in defensive mode, so let's actually go ahead and... Well, actually, crystal shift first. This is four times? Yeah. So we want to do this first. And then guardian whirl. There's a lot of extra damage there. Rally, okay. Oh, the 30 damage coming in, okay. Let's see how we can do this. Can I just try to kill him? We might be able to, let's see. Orb slam, orb slam, 40 damage, you're dead. That's what I like to see. Clean sweep. 
Uh, we'll take tiny, well, every four quick worker room is a treasure room. We only have one more floor though. How much treasure will I really get? And this is in place of a treasure. Let's take the potion belt so we can take the, the vulnerability potion. It's a weird one. And then we let's just continue down the path wrong. Hola, hello, shell parasite. I don't really want to see you because you're kind of, kind of mean. We do have eight strength going into this though. And I think I can just knock one of you out, which will save a lot of damage. Um, well, you're in six. I don't think I can do 71. I'm going to do 34. So I definitely can kill you. Might as well. And then we'll gain six. That's the much of the workout. Though, so. All right. Take a nine here. All right. Curl up. Floating orbs. And now we're just playing all of our attacks. Oh, 28, perfect. Which is great, because I didn't want to take another 18 damage. Actually, Sapphire, another floating orb, though, is actually super good. It's going to punish me for someone who has thorns. Okay, um, let me see. Not that great. Ooh, Orb Walker up here is really good, though. All right, we're just going to play on our hand, I guess. Got up to 12. All right, took 10 damage there. This is a interesting one. Garnet, I could accelerate just to gain all the benefits of this. I think I will. Cause yeah, now we're up to eight strength. And we haven't even played any attacks yet. Crystal shift. What will do is warp slam. Walker claw is 73 damage. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna get through this. Just fine. Okay, yeah, we're, we just need to get... Oh, this sucks though. To, to do Guardian Whirl, I need to be in defensive. Must be in exit defensive mode. So I guess we'll play our attacks, then curl up, then Guardian Whirl. Seems like a weird one. Incinerate. I want to leave. Yeah, two. Do a slam. It's still pretty good. It might kill him now that I'm looking at it. Oh, it's close. Close, but not. No cigar. But I think we're still fine. Like, we're, we're, we weren't going to perfect it anyway, but. Twin. There we go. All right. 100 souls. Block is not removed. Start of your turn, gain 15 block. Enter defense mode. When you leave defense mode, gain two temporary strength and t and enter defense mode. When you leave defensive mode. Oh, and it puts you in defensive mode. I don't think we have enough to like facilitate that. But what do you do? You go down in cost now. It's gonna be so hard to play. I think I'm just gonna take an onyx. Like, if it wasn't, if I had, like, it's going to be so hard to play it. I'm not, it's not worth it. Uh, Philosopher's Stone, I'm fine with. Okay, we have one more wing boot, so we can keep that in mind. How many elites do we have here? Uh, it's an interesting path. Okay. I also need a shop, preferably a couple shops. Got here. The start is the start's bad either way you go. So we're gonna go this way. Here, go down to here, hit this shop, go here. Here. Here, here. Another shop. Elite. Yeah, okay. We can get a lot of value out of this if we do this right. Okay. I don't really want to rest right now. Speed boost becomes zero, I think would be great. Um, floating orbs becoming zero. Actually, what's this one? Five times Guardian Whirl actually is the correct move. We do need more cards that put us into defense mode though. That is actually very important. Um, crystal shift. Um, yeah, nothing here is that good. This is a bad turn. I can't even play it, can I? What does it say? 
Nothing. Yeah. Take a nine. Okay. Crystal Shiv. Um, incinerate. Another Crystal Shiv. Strike. Uh, okay, I got him. Ooh, we do not have him, but we do. <laughs> got a little preemptive. Uh, another quartz, uh, or a quartz. And then skill potion for... I don't... We already have one. I don't think I need it. Are we going this way, actually? Oh, I wanted to do this shop. Oh, we wanted to go here, yeah. It's like, I don't remember where we're going. Okay, um... Onyx, just because. Crystal Shiv, floating orbs. Now, here's the problem. We get really bad opening hands, like we just had. The Onyx should help, but until we, like, play out the Onyx, it is not very good. Orb walk here is really nice. Go ahead and kill that one. Negative to all them. Can I go ahead and kill this dude, too? Yeah. And I don't want to do that, because that's going to hurt a lot. I need a big attack to kill you. I don't really have big attacks. Um, <laughs> 14... But he's not really hitting us yet. So let's block some. Block there. And then we can deal. Oh, he's dealing eight back? <sighs> yeah. Hit him for one, I guess. Okay. Hit him again. Oh, go ahead and kill him. Oh, we can't kill him. Oh, we can. Man, that dude hurts. Um, more stasis slots could be okay. I don't want more temporary thorns. I don't need no, none of that. I only wanted to go this way. Okay, floating orbs, crystal shiv. Sorry, I can't use guardian world. I mean, it's like, yeah, again, every time we've gotten speed boost in our opening hand. It's all cool and stuff, but I don't need it until I have something up in stasis. Crystal shiv. Are we playing war block this time? We definitely are. Alright, four block here. Which was just enough. Floating, draw another card here. Um, curl up's fine. Should have played out on my attack first, but. Okay. Hmm. Another floating orb. This went from like an attack gaining deck to somehow like a floating orb slam deck. I'm not very mad about it. It's just not what I thought we were in, we were intending to do here. 18 damage. Oh, well, we just want to use Orc Alchem for this. So 12. Man, he hurts. Full hand though. Uh, planning, turret beam, court, um, onyx, incinerate to do that, crystal, and then yeah. Like when we get in these late parts of the fight, it's just easy as cards. Uh, another guardian world now, we can't take another one. Uh, uh, no, because we're not in defensive mode enough. That's part of our problem, is that right now it's a dead card. Oh, hunt down the one shit. Okay. As you slowly make your way through the twisted hallway, you find your infamous shifting hallway of the beyond. Let's be able to go mad. And now we get it. But it's familiar to you. Um, I think we'll search for a relic. Okay. Fun fungus. If you have leftover energy at the end of your turn, heal that much energy at the start of your next turn. Actually, very nice. Spice. Uh, drawn. There's no card each turn. Raise our max HP is also very nice. I think I'll take Spice. Because I know it has a chance to, like, later on, down the Spice chain, give me more attack. Um, lose a basic strike. That's fine. Where do I want to go here? I think this shop is what I want. Yeah. Uh, Dreamcatcher, another Spice. With one Dex. Sure. I mean, it's not hurting me that much yet. Oh, I already killed the merchant, so another spice. Lower. It. See, I don't want to lower my max HP by eight. Well, actually, maybe I do. 
The planning could be very good. So could the mine pick for two gems. I think it's too late for it, as much as I want it. But Sling of Courage though. Yes, planning, sure. Spice, okay. Remove a basic strike again. And then we're leaving. I think we have another shop later, so. Kill the fool, lose 11 act HP. Kind of okay with that. Okay, now what was the path? Was it here, here? Yeah, it was this path. And then, yeah, another shop. And then another elite. Actually, we need another rest, really. I should go for this rest, then come over here. And then hit that other shop. That's what I should do. Or I could do this. All the way down here. I just won't use my other charge with my wing boot. But this is actually much better. I actually am fine with that. Yeah, that's the way I get the most most value. Oh, you're going to be disgusting. Garnet. Um, planning. Crystal Shiv. Uh, okay. Orwalk. Incinerate. Crystal Shiv. Twin Slam. Defend. Oh, wait, we're at max HP again. I forgot. Alright, Dude Man's Intangible. Orb Walk. Turret Beam. Onyx. Curl Up. Why are you doing so much damage, dude? Who hurt you? I can't even, like, well, we're, we're, we're okay, we're okay. 46 is a lot, though. I don't know why you're so angry. Like, I think you're dead here now, though. Specifically. Uh, I need more attack, though, if we're going to try to kill you. 49, you're dead. Yeah. <sighs> Lower max HP by, by again. Or Lizard Tail. I'm going spicy. Uh, another right now. We don't need another one. Okay, uh, I definitely need to add these to this. I won't get another one, unfortunately. But Smith making these free is also very good. So we just have some extra cards. <laughs> no. Uh, do we have any chance to have another rest? If I jump over here in the good. This next elite, I would. It's not worth it, though. I don't have the elite. Let's take more max HP here with the strawberry. And then we'll, we'll call it. We're fine. Alright. Ooh, yes. You guys are the kind of things I like to hit. You could hit me a lot, though. Which is, is kind of concerning, I will admit. Um, however, I think I can also hit back just as hard. Twin slam... Incinerate, Crystal Shiv, oh yeah. I think if, actually if I would have played the orb, orb Walk first, we would have killed this one. Not that I'm too upset about it. Okay, we want to play both these. Um, I need to play like two attacks. I can't get into Guardian World range. So we actually will get none of that. Because I can't play that attack. Oh. Luckily, the mode shifter coming in uh, as best. Uh, you're dead. Um, another floating warp is great. You're doing so much damage here. Like, I think we're okay. But literally, this turn, we didn't pull uh, any cards that we could uh, play. We literally have all, our, our, all of our uh, energy. Okay. Hit you a bunch of times here. We're back down to 30. Spice. Um, no, ice cream is much better. And honestly, I will take the attack potion of the skill. Obtain spice instead of this card. What the heck? <laughs> it doesn't add it to the deck, does it now? Okay. Only because our, our HP is already so low, why not take more spice? We're starting each fight with 10 strength. Excuse me? Okay, um, floating orbs. I also want to defend. 
defend Walk Claw, I guess? Yeah. And then Crystal Shift. But we are a strength based, strength based spice build. Um, let's actually gain the advantage from the metronome first. Or uh, actually turret beam, incinerate, crystal shiv, orb slam, then we play defend, defend, garnet, floating orb. The garnet gets no effect here, but it's fine. Okay, we have none of that, so I think orb walk, planning, planning, just to get them in my hand, onyx, and then we can start playing attacks, twin slam, incinerate, crystal, orb slams, and orb slams. Okay, and yeah, just orb slam, and orb slam, and orb slam. Another spell. Oh, what would I? What if I put that in an orb walk? How does that even work? Or walker claw? I think I have to take. <laughs> we'll take that spice. Do I take another one? I think I just take xylophone though. I just don't know what it'll do. Like, what do I put it on? Okay, gave me limited options. No Walker Claw. These are the ones that'll go on. Onyx Planning, Garnet, Twin Slam could be really nice. I think I'll put it on a Floating Orbs Plus. We'll figure out what it does. All right. Okay. Curl up, Garnet. Uh, are we playing this to fend out? One, two, three, four, five. Yep. So we'll. Oh, I should play the fin first. My bad. Twin slam. Shiv. 60 damage. And then another one of these for 19. Oh, you're going to give me a parasite. You did. That was sad. I really want to see my floating orb X. We might not get to see it until the boss fight. And we're going to boost all these out. Oh, no, you boost the first one out. Uh, Onyx. Actually, we're not even going to get to see it this time. Play all this out. So we might actually get to see our floating Orbex. I want to see how it works. Oh, 58 damage coming in, though. Can I get that? Oh, I killed him. I guess we could use the attack potion to really see him. Sure. Who needs max HP when you have spice? Ending with negative 24 max HP plus 5 strength. <laughs> Pretty good. Okay, um, leave their stance. You can force them to. Floating orbs, planning. Uh, not really what I wanted to plan into. Um, I want to gain a little bit of defense here. Defend, that's enough. Crystal shiv, twin slam, and I could speed boost the incinerate out. Might as well to get them both. Um, and then I will hit you with that and hit you with that. Okay. Floating. Well, we have at least plus two, so we should at least play a couple attacks out. Uh, that's fine. Orb slams and then incinerate. Okay. Then will play the other ones. Floating orbs. Planning. Onyx. And we still have plus four, but I cannot do anything with it. Oh, also. Drink the bronze. Uh, apply the vulnerability. Drink the attack potion. Um, place this into stasis, increase this attack by three. Let's go ahead and do that just because. Why not? 37 damage. It's in the back of the stasis orb, so it'll be around eventually. Okay. Are you hitting us? Not really. Play this for 29. Let's just do this first. And we'll see what our next turn holds. I don't think we're going to die. We've already taken damage. Even if we do die, we have... Um, we have the fairy in the bottle. We almost kill him anyway. I just want to see, will it fill up my whole hand with floating orbs? Let's see. <laughs> okay. That answers the question. Oh, that was fun. 
A xylophone always is a comedic relief. Uh, 989, that's fine. I, I'm never, never in it for the score. Ascension of Lock, though. Oh, and some new cards. Amber, gem accelerate, I like that. Gem Finder, exhaust all gems and all socket cards. Deal 10 damage to a random enemy for each gem in those cards. Pretty nice. Or gem cannon. This was gem finder. At the end of the card, you choose one common gem to add to your deck. All for the gem build, and you know what? I'm happy with all those. Anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy, you can hit the like button or subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.